my fellow developers and programmers in this tutorial i'm going to talk brief about why you need to create a virtual environment for each of your projects you embark on so first let's look at what virtual environment is virtual environment gives you the ability to create an isolated environment for each of your projects so why will you need to create a virtual environment for each of your projects Okay, most often as developers, we tend to use libraries or packages developed by other developers or companies. Let's take libraries like Pandas, NumPy, TensorFlow, PyTorch, and so on. These libraries are not developed by us, but we tend to use them to complete our projects. So the thing is, these companies also maintain and update these packages over time. So let's say you've installed NumPy version 1 for your project. And then within two months time, the company responsible for uh, maintaining and updating NumPy have updated to version 2. At your end, no problem, your code runs and you are good. But I'm sure we've all encountered this problem. It works on my machine and it doesn't work on my friend's machine syndrome. This is normal because by the time NumPy updated to version 2, you gave your code to your friend and your friend installed NumPy version 2. But your code is only compatible with NumPy version 1. This problem can be eliminated using virtual environment because if your code is in a particular virtual environment, your friend will only install that specific library with the particular version he or she needs. So virtual environment have numerous advantages and you need to create one for each project you embark on. One other advantage I would also like to talk about is dependency conflict so if you have two separate projects that are working on and for each of these projects you have separate virtual environments for them there will not be any way packages you install in this separate virtual environment are going to interfere with each other that gives you peace of mind and saves you from hard time solving interference issues with packages finally virtual environment helps with easy collaboration so let's say there is this project you are working on and your friend wants to collaborate with you to finish it up you can send all the packages you've installed you can send all the projects including the virtual environment for your friend so that he can also install that same packages and be on the same page as you in a nutshell virtual environments have numerous advantages and you should always create one for each project you embark on so if you are ready let's roll in and create virtual environments for our projects So to create a virtual environment is very simple so on your desktop in the search bar just type cmd and this will bring up your command prompt so just hit enter and your command prompt will be open just as mine so you have to just cd into desktop because we want to create a folder on our desktop where we'll create our virtual environment so we cd into desktop and in here we want to make a directory or create a folder so you can manually do this with your mouse you go to new and you create a folder on your desktop but you can use the terminal to create the folder as well so to create it with a terminal you just type mk there that is make directory and then you give the name of your directory so let's name this um, project and click enter so this folder will be created on our desktop and i can show you right away okay so i will hide the terminal here and when i open desktop here right here you can see we have a folder here called project and it's empty so back to our terminal we can cd into this project once again so we just type project and this will send us into our project directory so now we want to open our python ide so for that we do as do code and we add dot to it and you hit enter this will automatically open vs code for you so you can see right away vs code is open with our particular folder we've created so the folder name is project okay so from here what we'll do is to create a new python file so i'll just click on this and we'll call this main.py so this is a new python file we've created and for no reason we can just print hello world so we can run this to check whether everything is working and after running this we'll see hello world printed on our terminal so right here you can see the hello world is printed this shows that python is installed in our system and everything is working so now let's go ahead and create a virtual environment to create one all you need to type is type python hyphen m then v and v 
then the last thing you have to type right here is the name of your virtual environment nobody will sanction you for choosing any particular name so you have the liberty to choose any name at all but bear in mind that mostly the good practice or the rule of thumb is that this name should have something in common with the particular project you are creating so for us we can just call this uh, environment we can call it project and all you have to do is to hit enter this will go ahead and create a virtual environment for you then vs code automatically will notify you that there is a new virtual environment created will you want to use it for this workspace and you have to click yes and this will go ahead and use the virtual environment for you okay so you can see the virtual environment is being created here and in here we have some files so we have library here and this is where all your libraries you install will be you have scripts here which also holds some file to activate this particular virtual environment so after creating a virtual environment what is next the next thing is to activate this virtual environment so that you can install packages so the simple way of activating this virtual environment is to close this terminal and you can run your code once again and this will go ahead and activate it so right here now you can see we have the name of our virtual environment which is project here and this shows that we are utilizing the virtual environment so with this you are done all you need to do now is to install packages you will need for your particular project so let's say i will need numpy i just have to type pip install numpy hit enter and that's it this will go ahead to install the numpy package for you that's it so you can see this works and it works great okay so right here you can see numpy is successfully installed and we can even import it and use it in our project so for that i'll just import numpy as mp and to test it we can just create some numbers so i can just say x is equal to mp dot arrange as arrange and over here i can give it from 1 to 11 this will only create numbers from 1 to 10 for me so i'll go ahead and print x and we are just doing this to verify whether or not our package we've installed is working so let me run this real quick and you can see we have a list of numbers right here on the terminal from 1 to 10 okay so the numpy we've installed is working and you can go ahead and install as many libraries as you want for your particular project before we bring this particular tutorial to the end i'll show you where the installed libraries are being kept so in your virtual environment you can open library and right here you can see we've installed numpy so we have the numpy dependencies right here so any other library you install will appear here and you can even use that to check if the library is really installed or not okay guys so this is how easy it is for you to create your own virtual environment and work with it if you like it give me a thumbs up and share it with one or two of your friends so that we keep the community growing also if you have not subscribed yet and you have watched this tutorial to this part then i guess you enjoy it do your best to subscribe and let's keep the community growing thanks for watching and i'll see you right in the next tutorial